Hello everyone. I'm using my headphones here just to drown out some of the Los Angeles noise, which could be anything from planes to helicopters to cars. Um, I'm Scott Killaby, and this is a series of videos that I'm doing to document life, to document this work that we're doing, which we call now the Killaby Inquiries, but don't get too stuck on the names. <laughs> There's lots of names that get thrown out. Just hear them as sounds. They're just pointing you to freedom, pointing you to peace, to love, to simplicity, presence. Whatever words you want to use, whatever words we use, don't get caught up in the words. The word that I'm using for this video series is Kyo. Kyo is just three letters. Killaby inquiries online. But I want, I want the word not to be so important as to what it's pointing to. It's pointing to a deepening process, a process of clarity, of coming to be with what is in life, being present to our experience in a different way, relating to experience differently than the way that we've done it before. Now how, how are we coming, how do we relate to experience? Many of us are coming to this video, even listening to this video, from a place of not being okay with what's happening, not being okay with our lives, like suffering in some way, right? Why else would you be drawn to videos like this if you weren't suffering or weren't looking for some, something that you feel like you don't have already? We all have that in us, that suffering story or to some degree, that seeking story, looking for something else, for something more, whatever that is, love, we're trying to escape pain, too, right? We're seeking. This is about bringing all that to rest. Suffering in the seeking, happening in, with humanity. Just bringing it to rest, seeing through it, and living in a simpler state of being, which you could call presence using words to describe it, I would say, is just being awake to life as it appears right now. Not so much in our heads anymore. More in our bodies and aware of our feelings and sensations and not disconnecting from our bodies, not disconnecting from even from experience, but just finding out why it is we're suffering, how we suffer, and then seeing through that suffering. And I can tell you that most of it is mind. Most of it is our mind. Our mind tells us this or that, or we believe this or that, or we tell this or that story about ourselves or about the world, and we suffer because of it. With these very limiting viewpoints about things. We don't know, when we're living in that world where we're just thinking constantly, relying on thought to tell us everything, it's like we're divorced from our present reality. We're divorced from the sights and sounds and smells and feelings and sensations of the present moment. We're divorced from the silence, the space, the peace that's here in life, under everything, within everything. I want to show you how to recognize that space, peace, love, freedom, silence within everything, within all experience. Even as I'm doing this video, you can hear the sounds of LA happening. Hear that? I don't know how much you can hear it, but this is life. Life is vibrantly here. No matter where you're at, whether you're in nature or in the middle of a big city right now or in your apartment or house alone, that's life. That's the present moment that you're experiencing. But notice what happens is often you can't really be in the now, you can't be in the present moment because you're in some viewpoint, some thought, some story, some paradigm that keeps you from experiencing life directly here in the moment, being at one with what is. So if that resonates with you, if you're listening from that place where it's like you've, you've put your conceptual you so to speak, conceptual understanding of life has been placed over reality, your political viewpoints, your religious viewpoint, your 
story of self, your all that stuff that takes you away from experience, away from the present moment, away from life in the here and now. All that stuff that gets in the way. We're going to be inquiring into that stuff and letting go of that stuff. This is a process of letting it go, deconstructing all that stuff and being just simply present to life. Look, we all, or many of us have animals, not all of us. They're teaching us something about, about life. They're teaching us to be. Because that's what they do, is they just, they're here and awake and aware. And we can be too. We can be present here too. To each other, to experience. <laughs> these are our teachers, these animals, right? Because as humans, we've gotten so mired into our belief systems and our stories and our paradigms and our mental understanding that we've lost touch with the connection, the basic connection, being to being, love to love. We've lost sight of all that. I want to, I want to bring you back to that. I want to bring you back to that innocence, that simple presence that you've overlooked all of your life. You've been in your head, maybe, in this story or that story, that worry, that anxiety, that future thought, that future trip, or that going back to the past over and over and over, <laughs> trying to understand yourself, trying to make sense of the world, trying to find out where you belong, who you are, what you are. Just notice that it's a game that doesn't have an ending. It's like. It's a game of seeking for ourselves in our thoughts. Seeking something in our thoughts that we can never find. And then waking up out of that, that whole thought stream of self, and recognizing there's a simpler beauty, peace, and freedom here. It's much simpler than our minds would ever imagine. <sighs> Just to be in the reality of life in the present moment as it is and allowing everything to be as it is that's a beautiful way to be and most of us many of us don't know it yet most of the world doesn't know what it is that I'm even talking about and that's okay <laughs> I just want to speak to those of you who are ready to hear this this work that I'm going to show you has been you know, it's not for it's not it's not about pithy spiritual sayings on social media. You see those like every now and then, like somebody will write some sort of spiritual phrase about God or Buddha or whatever, living in the moment or be free now. It's more than about these pithy sayings. It's about transformation, transforming how we experience life, seeing things differently looking from awareness and investigating what we believe rather than blindly believing things, blindly following ideas, investigating those ideas and beliefs, those stories, instead of just blindly following them. And in that investigation, in that seeing, there can be an awakening that happens where we wake up and realize life is much simpler than all of that. It's much simpler. It's just about being here. being here in the moment just experiencing you can hear the birds I don't know if you can these beautiful sounds appearing in the space of the present moment and the sights oh my god the beauty it doesn't even matter what you're looking at I'm not even looking at anything particularly wonderful it's just the experience of life is there the colors the light the shapes sounds the space in which it's all happening how many times do you stop and notice this this utter beauty and mystery and wonder it's in front of you you 
for many of us, we don't recognize this because we're so in our heads. We're so in our minds. We're so in our thought streams that we can't see. We can't experience life directly like this. You can't be present to life. I'm just going to help you get out of your head. That's all. Think of it that way. Get out of your head. Get more in touch with your body. Let all the feelings and sensations be felt and allowed. And then open up to the expansiveness of the present moment. The openness of what is. Just being here now. Simple. You don't have to believe anything. You don't have, there's no five steps or three ways to get here. No. We're already here in the moment. All we're going to do is wake up from the things that seem to take you out of this. The stories of time, future, past. The belief systems that this is right and this is wrong or this is what's true and that's not true. All that stuff that keeps us from living in the simplicity of being present here now. That's what this is about. Keep it simple. It's about joy. It's about peace. It's about love. Those are words, but they point to us. They point us to aspects of our experience that we don't often experience because we're so hung up in our belief systems, our stories, our ideas, our defense mechanisms, our attacking other people, all this stuff of the mind. Completely identified with. It's like letting go of that, coming back to the simplicity of just being here. And what that's like. Simple. If anything that I've said resonates with you, you'll probably come back and watch other videos. And if not, you won't. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to keep talking. If you want to tune in, tune in. It doesn't cost anything. Here's the other thing. Ah, do you hear that siren? Perfect. This is what I want to say about this work. This work is not divorced from the experience of life, from things and people, and we're going to go into those things. We're going to, this is not about some nature-y sort of meditative escape route where we're just going to like pull away from everything in life and everybody and find this space in which nothing is, nothing intrudes upon this space and I'm at peace and, you know, it's, that's false. It's not, no. We're going to actually use life to wake up. Relationship is going to be the way in which we wake up to this. We're going to be in life fully. Like whatever that means for you at your job, in your marriage, in your relationship, alone, on drugs, not on drugs, um, believing this, believing that. Everything is going to be a teacher for us. Everybody will be a teacher in this. You'll see everything. There's nothing to hide from and nothing to escape from. Everything is pointing us back to just being and living and being awake to what is. Everything is. That's what you'll see. It's beautiful how life is designed to wake us up. We just pay attention. Keep coming back or don't. I'm here if you need it. Love you.